Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Monday, Moon Day, August 12th, and the energies in the day adds up and reduce the number one vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So when it comes to the spirit energy, like, since Thursday, all of the spirit animals are in the reversal position. So I'm going to mix up the cards a little bit just for the heck of it. And let's see what spirit medicine guidance we have for today. And it's the hawk. And I mean, I guess it makes sense with mercury energy in retrograde. And like with the hawk, like so say the hawk spirit come out in this way. When the hawk is this way, I think of the mind energy, the mind element. And when I look at the hawk, I think of the hawk, you know, in the sky soaring and looking to zoom in and pick up some food, whether it's a fish out of the water or maybe a field mice or something. It's looking, it's looking for food. And in the reversal position, when it comes to spirit medicine energy to bring balance to the day, this brings me to introspection. This brings me to going within. This brings me to not needing to look out. So it's not, it's like not, it's like, don't look for the, don't look for your food outside of you. Look for your food within. So this brings me to me coming to a realization and I've shared it with you. The affirmation that I'll say is that the security that I seek in the world only exists within me. And it's like, when we think about life, like our whole world, our whole reality is created from the inside out. Our whole reality is experienced from the inside out. If we want to change our world, we change ourselves on the inside first. So when it comes to today's energy, it brings me to the importance of going within, going within. And, and that's easier said than done until we fully, fully, fully understand it. And for me, what that might look like is, um, Say I was watching something on, I guess I was uh, on Instagram and I came across this funny skit and this guy was saying that he never argues with anyone because he doesn't care about anything enough. Like he said, you have to care to argue. So he's never, ever argued with anyone because he doesn't care about anything and you got to care to argue. He says at his job, he doesn't know any of his coworkers' names. He only knows his boss's name and someone in the office because they cut him his checks. But the part that stood out to me is when he said, I have to care to argue. And when I thought about that and I thought about like, you know, how sometimes it's so easy to get uh, annoyed or frustrated about what people say or what people do. And it's like, because we could get so frustrated or irritable or irritated so easily, it could cause us to come off away. Not necessarily that you care how you're coming off, but it caused you to come off away, to come off away as far as maybe you're losing energy, focusing on things that don't even matter. And it's like all that can change based on what's happening within you, which is how you perceive to see things, how you perceive to see the world. Where um, I think about how like, say certain people will say things and a thing that's supposed to offend me doesn't offend me because I don't see myself in that way or I'm I don't feel attached or I don't identify with that thing enough for that to offend me if that makes sense. 
So when it comes to today's energies, it's something about like the stories that you tell yourself. What are the stories that you're, what kind of stories are you telling yourself? Like when you find yourself frustrated, when you find yourself irritated, ask yourself, what kind of stories am I telling myself? Why this thing is having this kind of an impact on me? And some people might be like, I'm not telling myself a story. I'm a realist and this is facts and this person just violated or disrespect or blah, 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 or whatever. And it's like, okay, how do you, what kind of stories are you telling yourself? The, the stories that you're telling yourself says that this person just violate, they disrespect and you got to re retaliate and respond in this way or the next. But what if you could tell a story different to yourself to the point where it's like you don't care genuinely not fake not caring but you genuinely don't care because you realize that what comes out of this person's mouth and this person's behavior has everything to do with what's going on within them and has nothing to do with the world outside of them and I'm not going to get swooped up in a casting role in this person's movie because they're just not paying me enough. They're, they can't pay me enough. So with the hawk coming out as a spirit animal in the reverse position, to me, it brings me to going within. It brings me to reflection, introspection. For me, it goes back to what kind of story are you telling yourself? Um, the moon in Scorpio is a part of a T-square with the sun in Leo and Leo um, and Uranus in Taurus. When I look at the T-square happening between the moon, um, I think the moon being in Scorpio, the inner world is in a space where, you know, being seen, being out and the changes that are happening in the world feel like a bit too much, feels exhausting, feels overwhelming. Um, a T-score is also happening between Mercury conjunct Venus and um, Mars conjunct Mars conjunct Jupiter in Gemini and also Saturn in Pisces. So the moon, the inner world and Mercury are both going through it, even though the moon in Scorpio is positively aspecting Neptune and Pisces and Pluto, I mean, and Saturn in Pisces. So the moon though, the inner world is like, oh, now I see you. So this is the kind of day where it's like, you know, the mind, the mind, okay. So the mind Mercury, it, you know, the mind Mercury is, you know, our mind, the inner world is our inner conversation. I think about like, say maybe Thursday or one of those days, you know, one of them was going through it, but the other one wasn't going through it. So, you know, that was a good balance. But I think of like, say today where both of them are under pressure going through it, but at least the moon in Scorpio is positively aspecting Saturn and Pisces and Neptune. So what's happening with today's energy is like things are happening that's frustrating you. But with Saturn and retrograde and Pisces speaking to the moon and Scorpio is like from all the irritation, the frustration and the chaos, you're seeing things clearly. So it's almost like seeing people's masks slip. People's masks are slipping in front of you with this energy. If you're perceptive and observant, you know, or your mask is also slipping. Masks are slipping. But with the moon and Scorpio, um, I feel like everybody, so it's like, you might feel like you done perceive some truth on somebody and they feel like they just perceive some truth on you too. Your mask slip, they saw some truth in you. Their mask slip, you saw some truth in them. Truth is being revealed. And I feel like with the Scorpio energy, the truth is being revealed, but it's putting arson in the bag as, you know, you might find yourself feeling more secure because of the knowledge that you stumbled upon. Ooh, with the tarot, we have the two of cups in the upright position. The two of cups to me uh, brings me to uh, some kind of harmony with some aspect of yourself. And I feel like the aspect of yourself that, you know, gaining some kind of a harmony or peace with, I feel like that goes back to the moon and Scorpio speaking to Saturn and Neptune and Pisces. With the moon and Scorpio, that could be such an intense 
stressful, shadow working, dark night of the soul type of energy. But with the positive aspect being made to Saturn and Pisces, it's like seeing things so much more clear feels like arson and it makes the moon feel secure. The inner world feels confident to a certain extent, even though things could feel a little bit stressful and overwhelmed today. But I say go to what stories are you telling yourself when things get your attention and they hurt so bad? What kind of story are you telling yourself why things hurt so bad? Because it comes down to the stories that we tell ourselves and unfortunately, we didn't create our stories from jump. We were given stories. We inherited stories, whether it's through the media, through marketing, through movies, through storybooks, through our families. We take on those stories and we make those stories our own. We never question those stories to see if like, does this story empower me or does it take my power away? Does this story put me in a fearful vibration to allow my energy like a battery to be harvested because there are certain beings and entities that govern our world that needs me to be in this fear frequency so that it could feed off of my energy like a vampire. Where if I shift out of that frequency, even though I, I have no control over everything that's happening in the world, me shifting my frequency change the station and I'm no longer in alignment with what they're in alignment with so they can't control me they can't touch me they can't catch me so it's all about energy and life is an energy game and it comes down to what kind of stories are you telling yourself when it comes to certain things that irritate you and really get your attention I'm not saying to dismiss how you feel you definitely want to address your feelings your beliefs question them to see you know if they hold any truth and once you address them shine light on them and question them and you realize they hold no truth you want to create new affirmations to replace them and you want to make sure your affirmations are only made with positive words a negative word affirmation is like i'll never be broke again to me that's a negative word affirmation opposed to say i am always abundant i will always have enough so today's energies add up and reduce to number one vibration. So there is some kind of a new beginning or new perspective or the opportunity for that. I feel like that might be a certain aspect of yourself. It's like some kind of a unity happening with, to, I think of like accepting. It's like some kind of a self-acceptance, I feel, is the new beginning that happens today. Mondays are days that tends to be a little bit more intense and emotional than others. I feel like with today's energy, it is an intense energy, but something about it feels a bit numb. And with the hawk energy in the reversal position, go inside yourself, question what it is that you're feeling and reflect on the stories that you tell. You know, I think that is something that would be really beneficial for today. You guys, it's such a pleasure sharing these messages with you. Hey guys, I want to share with you seven benefits of getting a numerology natal chart awareness coaching session. The first one is understanding your internal programming. The second one is becoming more clear about your purpose and passion. The third is setting goals for success. The fourth is awareness of strength and areas of improvement. And the fourth one was foundational for me because whenever you're aware of your weaknesses, no one can use them against you. And when you're aware of your strengths, that makes you unstoppable. And that is why I say self-awareness is a superpower. The fifth benefit is removing obstacles. We first have to become aware of a thing in order to remove it in the first place. The sixth benefit is understanding relationship dynamics. We don't have to change the people in our lives. We have to become aware of ourselves and start from there and everything changes. And the seventh benefit is upcoming transits. If that's something that you would like to look into because you're planning for something or you just want to be aware so if you're interested in booking a numerology natal chart awareness coaching session or learning more about it the link to book or the link to send me an email for questions are both within the description box below if you'd like to check out my patreon where i share exclusive 
content. The link to check out what's happening on Patreon is in the description box below. Please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a red heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.